So you guys, we're going to be looking at uh, the metaverse. We're going to be talking about what metaverse is. With this, an overview on uh, the metaverse that's currently trending in the uh, crypto uh, world. So articles done by Ivan on Comic Cap to live on Comic Cap's blog uh, at Alexandria. So we're going to be checking out. Uh, these are some of the table of contents. It's a little bit bulky here, so we we'll try as much as possible to go over the most important of them so we're going to be looking at what is um, metaverse what is in the metaverse uh, metaverse feature but you're going to be taking note of uh, most important uh, features such as uh, decentralized blocktopia uh, sandbox uh, star atlas and you also have radio kaka here so those are some uh, keynotes you want to take note of so talk, talking about Facebook's uh, recent rebranding to Meta has now caught the attention of billions of users. So with uh, Facebook's uh, new intake of uh, making a company Meta, uh, these questions, there are lots of questions that need to be addressed, which we'll be looking at in this article. So what is in the Metaverse? Eh? Before we dive into the understanding what Metaverse is, to be helpful to us to understand what it isn't, we we'll also hear people say that it is derived from a virtual reality VR, but that is not the case since the metaverse isn't really limited to a digital realm in which the world of virtual reality operates. In fact, it extends far beyond that. So some often say that it is just another theme park for the digital space that again is true to a certain extent uh, because the metaverse can have a space that is uh, similar to a team amusement park. However, the idea of a digital team pack is limited because of what it offers. In that sense, while the metaverse can definitely offer that experience, but it extends much further than that. So uh, we, see, we see some even link at the uh, concept of metaverse to a game like Fortnite. And this is where most people get it right, because the idea of a metaverse in some way it's quite similar to the idea of entering a new world of gaming like Fortnite. The so main features of the metaverse are like having a consistent uh, identity across various uh, closed uh, platforms, giving users the ability to get compensated for content and being a gateway to a multitude of features already offered by the game. However, because this is a closed world, uh, this again fails to pass the uh, much wider expanse of the uh, metaverse. So, guys, these are some uh, brief uh, updates about what is in the metaverse. So, you want to take note of this. We're going to look at uh, what is the metaverse. So, while it is quite hard to define what the metaverse is, the metaverse is simply a wide expansion of uh, digital space where users can interact with each other in real time and get similar experiences to what they uh, experience in the real world and in most cases even more. So as against the virtual reality, uh, the metaverse come up or, uh, for, uh, happens to be uh, more of uh, an advanced stage to that. So you want to check out uh, more notes on this. He said this definition of the metaverse highlights a crucial point to the fact that it is wide expanse of a digital realm that can be said to be continuing the realm of the real world. So the only reason why we put the real world in double quotes is that it is conceptually hard to distinguish between what the metaverse is and what the non-metaverse is. So guys, uh, you can let us know in the comment section what you feel the metaverse is and what you feel the metaverse isn't. So the metaverse is an extension of what we define as real because it's not limited uh, by the physical spaces of the world that we are putting. I want to say the metaverse is synchronous. A crucial point uh, to add here is that it offers synchronous communication between users. So you can uh, discuss and interact with lots of people at a particular time. So it offers, it offers potentially users, uh, billions of users, the ability to interact in real time. So a metaverse is a thriving economy. So talk about it. So now that we've discussed about the metaverse, let's look at some of the most popular uh, metaverses that exist today. So guys, you want to check out that Decentraland is one of the most important uh, metaverses currently existing. 
as a decentralized it's one of the most well known metaverses to exist in the market world. So the uh, amount of money spent within the metaverses has seen a steady increase since its launch in 2016. Given its age, a community already exists around the platform, and even some bigger brands have started marketing and advertising their products on the platform. So those are some of the perks and uh, some of the uh, possibilities in the metaverse, guys. So, uh, so the metaverse works on MENA and land, NFT uh, based representative ownership. So guys, I'll be dropping the link so you can get more on this. But Blocktopia, the so Blocktopia offers an incredibly uh, slightly interesting story. It's a VR crypto skyscraper that is powered by the Polygon network, consists of 21 levels that are set to pay recognition the limited 21 million supply of uh, Bitcoin. So Blocktopia claims to offer an incredible collective space for crypto users of all experience. All of them have access to crypto information and massive content all in one place. So revenue generated within the platform is shared via NFTs. Is a look of how the uh, Blocktopia is. A snapshot about how Blocktopia currently works. So you want to check out more on these uh, 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 metaverses, guys. Then we have Sandbox. Sandbox happens to be one of the most popular ones. Uh, I said Sandbox is uh, another metaverse and gaming ecosystem that offers incredible experiences, gives you the ability to create different assets like avatars and tools free. So you can check them out on the box ID, the box uh, sandbox and the meta piece. So when transactions within the metaverse are carried out using the native sound token is an ERC token. And the sound token is going to be doing well guys. Price has moved lots guys, lots guys. So if you're an investor of uh, sound token you should be uh, if you bought the DP you should be uh, rejoicing, we have Star Plus, the multiplayer based uh, video game with an exceptional appealing uh, space team. Uh, that's for Star Plus, then we have Ludo Packers, also game based, game free vehicle for US and Metaverse. So, guys, uh, bottom line, uh, we have while it would have been hard to imagine such a space, not under the control of anyone, blockchain makes that possible again. Just I like the definition of metaverse. It is not an isolated space or spaces that are controlled by different authorities in an ideal world. All the different implementations of these metaverses will reach with each other, making the experience seamless for the users. The hour of all that is yet to be done. So you guys, I uh, hope you find this update interesting. At least by now you should know some of the uh, metaverses we have. We have uh, Decentraland, uh, Startups, Metaverses, uh, Santokin, and uh, uh, what do we have again? So let us know in the comment section if you like to use. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're currently working on some of our equipment and uh, we're looking forward to bringing you guys the best. Also, I'll be dropping a link to Come Out of House so you can get access to this article as well as other text from Come, Come Out of House. Uh, peace out guys and see you in our comment section. Uh, finally, we'll be doing an airdrop guys. So our airdrop is live. So once we get to over to 1,000 to 5,000 subscribers, we'll be giving a giveaway to our top subscribers. So you want to be among those people who will be giving out our crypto giveaways or more. Peace out guys.